I'm going to be showing you how I create a cinematic film look in Adobe Premiere Pro. And there's a ton of ways you can do this, but I'm going to show you kind of the way I, I've been doing for a while. And it's pretty, pretty simple, nothing too extreme or complicated. Um, so the first thing, well, I have a clip right here, this clip. Um, I actually, I shot this in slow motion at 60 frames per second, and I'm going to bring it down to... Uh, 23.97 or 24 frames per second and um, to do that what I did is I so I brought the original clip in and then I have um, I'm just, I right click on it and then I go to modify interpret footage I did this part already but I'm just going to show you how I did it so it's going to be clicked on this originally and this is just going to say, that'll just say 1. So what you want to do is you want to assume a frame rate. So basically you want to change the 59 to 23.97. So I just said OK. So now you have your, your new clip that's now in 23.97 frames per second rather than 60 frames. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw this into a new sequence. Okay, so my, my original clip was like 2 minutes 20 seconds and I just reduced it down to 15 se seconds just to show you guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is just overlay a um, those two black bars that you normally see in like a, a film movie it'll just change the aspect ratio so in this I just have to reduce this down okay so I have my two black bars since I have these two bars I can actually kind of move my my image up or down a little bit you know depending on the composition that I like best and I actually I'm actually just going to move this up just a little bit so I like that right there. Okay, so we have our composition set. And uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some effects to this. Um, the first one I'm going to add is my fast color corrector. So I have this here. Um, I want to go for kind of like a, a sunset type of feel to this, so I'm going to pull my, pull this towards my orange. So I like that. Um, and next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just come, come down here to my input levels. And usually with, to get like a, a cinematic film type of look, you want to adjust your black and white levels. So, and you can use, I use the input section here, and I'll just, um, if you watch, pull the blacks in. As I pull it in, it gets a little bit darker. And that's that's kind of the look I want to go for. And then I'll try to adjust the whites too. So I think I'm just gonna stick with the with the blacks here because the whites is just not it's not working for me. So I'm just gonna stick with the black. Just gonna pull it in to an area where I think looks good. I think I think that looks good. 
And then I can also move my middle slider as well. Okay, so that looks that looks good. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna adjust my brightness and contrast. Okay, I'm just gonna go a little less bright. I want this to be a little little on the moody side. So I go negative, try negative four, like that, and then I'll add a little contrast to the image. Go nine looks good. All right, so then the next thing I'll do is I'm going to go to my three-way. Okay, so my three-way color corrector. Um, I'll add that one. So you have your shadows, midtones, and highlights. Um, typically, I'm just going to focus on my midtones. I notice shadows and highlights; it can get. It just doesn't look that good when you ch change the settings on either the highlights or the shadows. So I tend to just stick with the midtones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add a little more orange to my midtones. Okay, I like that. And then um, I'm just gonna look to my highlights. Might just adjust very slightly. So next I'll come down to my saturation, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna desaturate this just a little bit. So I'm just going to come down, let's go like 60, go 65. So this will definitely make that, that film look more uh, prevalent. And then um, the last thing I'm going to do is just add some, uh, just adjust my levels a little bit. And the only thing I'm going to change on my gamma is just I'm just going to, on my levels I'm just going to reduce my gamma just a little bit. And this will also kind of like, you know, build some contrast as well. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some some music to this. And uh, it's that simple. So hopefully this uh, helps you guys out. <laughs>